Let's take a look at solving equations using properties. What value of n makes the addition sentence true? And they gave us a hint to use the properties of addition. So if I take a look at this, 59 plus the quantity n plus 40 is equal to the quantity 40 plus 59 plus 35. So notice we have the same numbers being added Right? We have 59 and 40 on both sides. Now they did change the order, but if you remember our commutative property of addition means when two numbers are added, the sum is the same regardless of the order. They also changed the position of the parentheses, but the associative property of addition tells us that when three or more numbers are added, the sum is the same regardless of where we put the grouping symbols. So, since the 59 and the 40 are the same number, we had to have added the other number the same. So since there's a 35 over here, the n would have to be the same number of 35. And just notice that changing the order or changing the grouping symbols, which changes the order we add in, doesn't make a difference. Because no matter what order you add the numbers in, you're going to get the same answer. What value of f makes the addition sentence true? We have 95 plus f equals 95. And he gave us a hint to use the properties of addition. So notice the 95 didn't change. So what is the only number that we can add that doesn't change the value? Well, adding zero is the only number that wouldn't change the value. And that's actually called the additive property of zero. When you have any number and add zero to it, your answer will always equal the original number. So we're basically saying 95 plus zero is still equal to 95. So f must be zero. What value of x makes the addition sentence true? And they gave us a hint to use the properties of addition. Well, just a moment ago, we were talking about the additive property of zero, that adding zero doesn't change our number. So 23 plus zero, well, adding zero doesn't change it, so 23 plus zero would still give us 23. So x must be equal to 23. P plus 92 is equal to 92 plus 79. Okay, well since we have a 92 on both sides, the other number we're adding must be the same to keep it equal. So if we have a 79 on the right, P must also be equal to 79. What value of j makes the multiplication sentence true? Hint, use the properties of multiplication. Nine times one equals j. Well, this is our identity property of multiplication. When you multiply any number by one, it stays the same. So nine times one equals nine. That means j must be equal to nine. What value of u makes this multiplication sentence true? Hint, use the properties of multiplication. Well, our identity property of multiplication says that when you multiply by one, it doesn't change the number. So what number times one would equal 93? Well, it would have to be 93 times one, because remember, multiplying by one doesn't change it at all. So in this case, u must be equal to 93. Ninety five times V equals zero. Well, we get zero as an answer when we multiply something by zero, right? That's our multiplication property of zero. So if we said ninety five times V and we got zero, then V must be equal to zero. 
What value of m makes this multiplication sentence true? Hint, use the properties of multiplication. We have 77 times m plus 77 times 46 equal to 77 times the whole thing, 54 plus 46. Now on this side, we have the distributive property. When you have a number multiplied by the parentheses, you can multiply it by each term inside. So this means the same thing as 77 times 54 plus 77 times 46, right, using our distributive property. So if we match that up on the other side, the missing number, m, would be 54, right? 77 times 54 plus 77 times 46. What value of d makes the multiplication sentence true? Hint, use your properties of multiplication. 99 times 88 minus 99 times d is equal to 99 times the quantity 88 minus 78. Well, remember we said just a moment ago our distributive property says when we have a number multiplied by parentheses, we distribute or multiply that number by each term inside the parentheses. So this means 99 times, 9, times 88 minus, since we have a minus sign in here, 99 times 78. Okay, so if we match that up on the other side, 99 times 88 minus 99 times D must be equal to 78 since the rest of that side of the equation is the same. 